Good morning. I'm about ready to do a little inventory this morning, checking on some, checking on my stuff for the rest of the week. So I figured I'd give us a little tour of my rig, if that's of any interest to anybody. And I'll start by showing off the front end here. And there's my interior. I just like, it's pretty tickled with this. It's a nice truck. Got my, uh, Stuff for all my photography, my camera bag, whatnot. Actually, in the back seat here, we'll get to the show and stuff. I swear. Just uh, my clothes to uh, keep fresh during the day. My drone bag right there. I'm gonna use that today. And uh, I always keep my sunscreen on there during the day. Blah. So anyway, here's uh, the shoe and rig. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies. My nemesis. So, I got my bucket up here. Let me start up here. My vacuum blower, what have you, that I use all the time. Keep this as clean as I can. My welding table here, um, which I use, put right here. Use my oxygen and acetylene here. Um, so let's go back here. I got my fan for when it's hot. I can plug in it up here. Um, welding table, fan, that's my, this box back here is the case to my hen rob, which has some paraphernalia for that. My hen rob here. The most uh, useful welding device there is. It, uh, instead of using you know, what, a $5,000 electrical MIG, TIG, uh, plasma cutter, whatnot, a bunch of equipment that uses electricity and takes up a lot of space and costs a lot of money, this can do it all. Welding uh, aluminum, steel, I mean, you can even weld cast with this stuff, which is unusual, but uh, yep, that's that. So welding is kind of a big deal, brazing. Speaking of that, <clears throat> excuse me again, it's going to continue, I suppose. There's my welding supplies. I've got my um, drill tech here, which is what a lot of people call borium, but uh, there's that. And some brazing material, uh, whatnot. All, everything I need there. Gloves for the um, Equilox right here. I've got some more up front, but. Uh, so let's see, there's three on board, so I should probably throw a couple more of those in there. This is for wrapping the Equilox. Um, let's see. Some material for uh, making the, what I call, uh, anyway. It's, uh, cut this up, put it in as a particulate into this Equilox, and it makes, uh, really strong binding stuff. Anyway, so uh, here is my equithane. I use the heck out of that. Foam pads. Sorry about that. I should probably put a few more of those in and my mesh to go to hold the equithane in with the shoe. The, uh, the gun here. Uh, the tips. Here's some uh, casting material. This is great stuff. I've got a few different sizes of that just in case. And once in a while you need it. Some denatured alcohol which uh, I use to clean up nasty wet feet in particular. Uh, spray some on there and then I've got a torch in my drawer up there. I can dry it all off pretty good. My mom, actually, with one of her horses, had a little bit of a fungus problem, so there's a couple of tomorrow, tubes of tomorrow that uh, we can use. She gave me those leftover from what she didn't need, so let's say, let's see here. Oh, here's my drone controller. It stays plugged in here. As you can see, that's plugged in, and I'll show you my outlet 
or how that's plugged in but uh, yeah this is just my clean drawer with my audio equipment audio video equipment this is my audio stuff it's a bunch of wireless audio um, GoPro paraphernalia some more GoPros and whatnot chargers you know all the all the stuff and things this is for my GH5 which I can go ahead and plug in right now um, but anyway so and we have some cleaning equipment and my cards and safety glasses but whatever maybe more detail than we need but uh, plug this uh, GH5 battery in so I'll be using that today and here is my laptop and charging bay you can see back in here is the uh, power strip that I can use to plug my laptop and whatnot and it's uh, connected right up into there so that's pretty cool those are my 3dr solo batteries charging right now and um, I'm gonna once again be using those today so this is my laptop drawer slash what the heck ever <clears throat> excuse me all right propane I don't think I mentioned that but that's my propane tank some lube this is the forge which swings out chaps and whatnot so let's put that over there let's show you under here this is the swing out anvil swing out <clears throat> so there are two things on this truck that I think are just worth every penny this anvil swing out a lock here is I mean that's just the best thing that there is and of course that forge here uh, swings out too well, I don't feel like I don't need to do that right now but uh, make sure that's locked in there all right um, let's see I got all my top tools here for my forgings making shoes and making modifying shoes <clears throat> hammers tongs uh, punches creasers pritchels rasps everything we need to make shoes uh, with that in mind here's the material for making the shoes I've got uh, the various bar stock sizes aluminum and steel in here that I need to fabricate any appliance that would ever come up so my welding stuff back there and I can cut and make whatever I want um, here's some hind back shoes in here some more uh, electrical stuff um, gloves and rags kind of go in there when I'm using them front bar shoes my soap let's see here up here is all my nails oops goodness uh, these are the ones I'm using right now or you know daily use all day long some storage of those uh, my rasps back here we got my heater for the winter or whatever um, sometimes I even use that when it's not winter to heat up my equithane real well but uh, if it's sunny out I can use my front windshield put them up on the dash and that works real well I like them to be pretty good and warm it works much better that way anyway <clears throat> excuse me uh, that's my my um, backup camera there too I had to remove that because the way it was installed uh, it was above my license plate light and uh, you know get pulled over so I took that off I don't really miss it it's whatever don't need that so here's my front shoes need a little bit of restocking that's 
pretty well caught up, but uh, it's fives and sixes, uh, some number two uh, front uh, aluminums, and I don't know, gotta go through here and make sure I got what I need. And then uh, I know I need more hind shoes, but uh, this is my hind shoe drawer, all steel here. I don't put any aluminum hind shoes on. If some push came to shove, I could. Uh, make some if I needed to but uh, so here's my trash drawer my used drawer these are just shoes I pull off keep them in here to recycle them I sell them to some people who come and get them and they basically buy me lunch for boxes of used shoes here's my torch that I was talking about grinder paraphernalia that's for this um, four and a half inch uh, got some wheels for the bench grinder and I don't even know what's back there anything interesting nothing at all don't use that so there's that mm -hmm. then walking around here it's my grinder got my shadow on the way got my uh, bench grinder my drill presses and my lovely Forstners, some lube for grinding, you know, pad cutter, that's pretty good stuff, and of course my vice, but uh, so I can, uh, this is set up for rivets, which I keep down in here, drill a hole, punch these rivets in for pads, which are up there, that's my pad stash. Um, so yeah, I got all my paraphernalia here for my making pads and whatnot, drilling and tapping. This is for drilling and tapping more than anything, or cut. sometimes I have to cut off some clips. I use this. But uh, so this is drilling with counter with a countersunk bit, and then uh, I'm going to use this hand thing here with a tap shoe and that vice. We uh, that's the tap. And here is my secret weapon. Not so secret, but the most useful thing I have in my truck really is this uh, power inverter with these batteries here. I can uh, I'm not plugged in now. Actually, I turned my inverter off because it makes horrible noise that uh, this camera is not a fan of. Sounds horrible. But with that on, I can run all my tools and lights. And um, here is my shoeing box. Oh, yeah, of course, I got my camera there. And uh, my geezer pleaser, fans. And back uh, here holding this all together is my stall jack, which is um, fixed in there to. Uh, with a pin so that's all nice and secure and that is pretty much it in a nutshell I guess and um, now I guess I'm talking about the reason I put this all this paraphernalia here because it's a nice spot for it obviously it's right out of the you know I get a jump out of my truck and here's I, gra I grab this on my way but it used to be my old rig so that it, it was all stacked in here with my anvil and anvil stand all just thrown up in here and not thrown up but placed like a jigsaw puzzle in there um had to when i did inventory like i'm doing now i'm gonna here in a minute i had to pull everything out of there my shoeing box my anvil and anvil stand vice um foot stand everything all that needed to come out usually my water bucket to uh get in my drawers and sort through all that make sure everything's good so one of my main concerns with this new rig is i wanted this completely clear yeah you know, i mean i don't even have to uh i can slide right past my forge which is you know I mean that's not anything any other nice modern rig stone well type 
bay horse rig can do but it's nothing unusual in that way but it is that way and that's a major improvement for me for my old rig a couple few years ago that i put about 25 years on it worked this works a whole lot better so that is my rig and i do love it oh i gotta say um we've got airbags under here so i can uh this is designed to be at this height as it is right now set down um, brent built this at brent at bay horse built this uh, with this height in mind and it is way easier to work on so luckily it's heavy enough it pulls the whole suspension down and then um, when i take off i've got a remote control in here i'll just go ahead and show you it's kind of nifty this remote control here uh, and just push it and there we are it's raising up so it's not exactly fast but it works works well and then i can uh, use the button to stop it and blow it back out so it's going down again that's my story i love it hopefully i don't sound like darth vader's death again as usual on a microphone like i usually do but uh there you go i'll uh, cut this up and see if it's worth posting <laughs>